Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about an attack strategy you guys have, might have seen before on the channel. This is the Monty G strategy, as we call it here, um, and I have none other than Monty G himself here to explain it for us. It's a Town Hall 9 and even a Town Hall 10 attack strategy, as you guys will see, um, but I'll let Monty G talk about it mainly in this video. He's here with with us in Discord. Uh, how you doing, man? Hello, hi guys. Um, so yeah, I'm on to 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 show to talk a little bit about the Queen Walk Stone hit, or some people call it the Monty G hit, because I'm the only one that does it. But I really like this strategy at Town Nine, and I just think it's it's a it's a great strategy that more people should be using. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll go through some of the basics here just to start. Uh, what level heroes do you typically want to have if you're doing this at Town Hall 9? Is there a, is there a hero requirement to so, the strategy? Since there's a little queen walk at the start, I would definitely recommend having a high level queen. Maybe look for a 25 level queen or up. And the king, because it's such a big kill squad, you're not as reliant on him being as tanky and as strong. So you, you can have a slightly lower level king. But as I said, the queen is the most important part, so you need her to be at a decent level. Yeah, I've, I've I've always had 30-30, so I'm not an expert when talking about lower level heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and I guess if you have a lower level queen, just maybe do a shorter queen walk or something. But uh, the queen's definitely important there. Yeah. So um, can you the go army the, comp. The army comp, yeah, briefly. Yeah. What? So as I think you can see on the screen right now, oh, this is, I've I've slightly adjusted the army comp that from the one that's on the screen. The main army comp I use is. Um, three golems, four healers for the queen, six hog riders for the backside, which isn't very much. I, 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 I don't, you don't need many in the strategy. Eleven wizards to funnel the other side, and, and 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 then for the spells, two jumps to get you through the base, two rages. One is often used on the queen, the other one on the kill squad, and then two poisons for the CC or heroes. Sounds good, and we'll take a look at a lot of these replays, but um. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us what type of base you typically look for? So when I look through the bases at the start of war, um, I look for two things. I look for a nice place to start my queen, because it's really important that I don't invest too much in trying to funnel her, and that she doesn't come across any air defenses that are four tiles away from the outside, or she doesn't walk next to any expos that she can't reach. So looking for a place to start the queen for me is really important, and then also which another really important thing is to be able to double jump the base. I uh, I never really use wall breakers, so I, I always want to find a place to double jump from the outside and get through the whole of the base. Yeah, absolutely. Um, th th I think it's important to not have to risk using wall breakers when you have this big of a kill squad. Um, yeah, wall so breakers are just too risky at Town Nine. I don't I don't like using them. Yeah. Um, so. Taking a look at this base we have on the screen now, uh, we'll take a look at the replay in just a moment, but why don't you talk about um, how this base is set up, how you identify it's a good base to use, and kind of what the basic plan would be for this base using your strategy. Okay, so just a little bit more talk about the strategy. What I do is I start my queen uh, at one point, get her to funnel one side, and then I golem and like six or seven wizards to funnel another side, and then I come up the center of the base, with two golems, my CC bowlers, sorry, I forgot to mention that, CC bowlers, and, and the king, and then the queen, and then the four healers. So on this on this space, I start my queen up here at the top, at, on, the, on the top side of the town hall. Now, one thing I like to do on, on base is, is use as little as possible like for funneling. So as you can notice, this base is totally symmetrical. So I start my queen at the top, and she could go either way, and I would just adjust depending on which way she would go. So on this specific base, she chose to go left, which I was totally fine with. She, um, so she's funneling this whole side here, which mm -hmm. means that the bowlers are definitely not going to go up here. They're definitely going to go in. Then I used a golem down here with the wizards all, 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 all along this side to funnel. I also, as you can see, threw two loons in just because I wanted to get rid of that cannon. But that's just, that, that's just me editing the army two hogs. Um, and then I came in with my big kill squad from around here. Um, king, two golems, 
all of CC, maybe chuck in a few more wizards. And then I did my double jump. One jump here, one jump in the core, and then you rage here. And the thing about the thing about this strategy is you don't need the heal for your kill squad because if you rage the healers, they'll heal up any bowlers that hit a giant bomb. They'll heal up the golems and the queen. The healers, and you don't need the, the, the heal for the kill squad. Awesome, yeah. And So then you sprinkle in the hogs at that point? Yeah, so then another part, a really important part of the strategy is to be really patient with your hogs. I never drop a hog on a defense unless it's been targeted, and unless the, de the defense is being tanked, most likely by one of the golems. Often I have two or three golems that make it to this expo compartment back here, and as you can see, all of these defenses around here are going to get tanked by that golem. So I just send one hog in on the defenses that are being tanked to take them out and that's why I only need six hogs for me six hogs is six defenses and this one is only four but it's pretty similar six hogs is six defenses because you only send your hogs in once they're being tanked by the golem often you'll end up with like two golems in that expo compartment here with healers on them and often you'll even get your queen in that compartment as well and she'll take out the defenses anyway the six hogs are just for sec security you're basically supposed to take out the whole base with your kill squad in this strategy right yeah i think the important thing as you've been saying is if those golems can get through basically the entire base and every part of the base is going to um on the back side is going to be targeting them those hogs basically one hog per defense um because the tanking is so so good there yeah. if you get the healers on the golems especially yeah without a, a tank you need like three hogs per defense um but in this strategy it's all about keeping your golems alive, keeping your tanks there, and then using them for the hogs. Right, right. Okay, so I think that was a, a good overview of the plan. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay on the base. Okay, so okay. here's the replay. Um, troll Tesla up at 12 there. Uh, yeah. I su assume you weren't expecting that. No, I wasn't expecting that, but hey, I was very happy about it. Uh, it's just a free Tesla from my book. Whenever you have your Queen Walk and she takes out Teslas, it's great because she takes them out one at a time and they don't do too much damage to her. So whenever I can get I'm always very happy. Yeah. One and thing I didn't like... Yeah, go on. These minions here, are they to push your Queen up to the air defense so she doesn't kind of walk no. her off? Those are just purely because time is often, sometimes an issue on this raid and I so I could pick off some free buildings with minions just to slow down, the to f speed up the Queen Walk. Okay. So I did it to just put them down. That was the reason for me dropping one wizard and bringing two minions. Gotcha. Because as you can see, the, the minions took out three buildings, and that, that could be the difference in 1999. So the king came out. Um, I decided not to poison because there wasn't any point defense on her, and I knew there wasn't going to be any point defense on her anytime soon, so I decided to save the poison and the rage. Um, so the queens, which I didn't mind, the CC comes out, um, just double poison poison that because there's no i'm not going to do a big hogs at the end i'm not going to need any poisons for skellies or anything so just double poison the cc give her a rage for safety then you can see coming in from six i've got the two loons uh, there was also a troll at uh, uh, nine so i put a golem on that just mm -hmm. creating the big funnel with my wizards from six to eight funneling that whole side and you can see i'm coming in with my king and my bowlers from the queen side so that they definitely won't wrap around because the Pretty good funnel. Um, you can come in with your king and bowlers. One little thing to know is that you saw that my bowlers hit a giant bomb, but then the healers immediately switched on to the bowlers and yeah. healed them back up to full health. That's just what's so strong about having four healers on the kill squad. Then, as you can, as I, as I explained, how many golems are in that final compartment? Three or two? Yeah, I think you got. Um, uh, I think you got all three. I got. Yeah, all three. One's about to pop, and my heroes. And I just sprinkle in the hogs individually onto the defenses. And yeah. I've got my queen in that backside compartment with a healer and three golems. It's just... I just really like this strategy. The rage is really good because it propels the golems forward. The, the bowlers stay back. And and then I always save two wizards for cleanup. Always minimum two wizards for cleanup. So I use nine for the funnel. Often one or two of them is used for the queen's funnel. But... In this one, I didn't need anything for the queen. 
Actually, I used two minions for the queen, so that counts as one. Right. So, yeah, just just use like eight wizards to funnel the other side of the queen. Just the funnel is just the most important part. Okay, so nice hit there. Let's move on and talk about the next base. Okay, so here's the next base we're looking at. Uh, another Town Hall 9 here. Uh, Monty, why don't you go ahead and tell us, uh, for this base, what the plan would be. Okay, so this was a clean-up here. Um, and I, I like this base because I, I, could, I could get a nice jump here and really get into the base here and create my big funnel. So I decided to start my queen up here and walk her through the Tesla farm, as you, you can see there, going left. The funnel for her was pretty easy. I just placed one wizard here. As I said earlier, I, I just like using as little troop space for the funnel as possible. Mm -hmm. Funneled her left, and she would funnel this whole this whole side of the base. I then sent um, I then sent a golem here, and with some wizzies behind, funnel this side of the base. And um, also, there's a Tesla down here, as you can see. So I sent a, a golem down here with my 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 king, my all my other troops into the core of the base. One other thing to notice is I knew the CC since it was a cleanup, but I just thought I'd mention that the CC on this in this strategy doesn't matter at all because if it's a hand CC, then you've got the queen and a few wizards in the rage, and then poison for the pups. And that'll take it out super quick. And if it's a soft CC with like baby dragon and, and witches, you just done they they disintegrate. I prefer the soft CC just because it doesn't hold the queen up at all. One other thing you might notice is I have slightly varied the army comp with the 10 arches and dropping two hogs. And that's because sometimes you're in this raid because you've got the queen walk. Although the kill squad is really quick, you've got the queen walk and then sometimes it takes a bit of time to clear the last few buildings. So I brought 10 ar arches to clear some of the free trash up here at 12. And also the 10 arches helped me create a little bit of a, as you'll come as you'll see when you watch the raid. Um, since I know where the Teslas are and what the CC is, I I, I Normally don't with with the cleanup pits with this, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Just double jump into the base with the rage spell, and yeah. you just pummel through the base. Yeah, this is definitely a good base for it with how um, it's pretty compact and it's almost like a straight line of defenses going through. So um, yeah, and it's also a really nice funnel on this side because you've got this little dead compartment, which means there's no chance your bowlers are going to go left as long as you funnel these defenses here which is right. really nice the queen is almost certainly going left because she's not going to go to this uh, uh, um, air defense up here so the fun the funnel is just the most important part of the uh, for me at town create a big funnel you 100 percent get your bowlers in get your kill squad in reach them i think you crush most bases and that's what that's what i really like about the strategy is because you just create such a big funnel you funnel this whole side you funnel this whole side and then you just come up the middle, and there's no chance that the funnel fails. You can, I, I almost sacrificed a golem here at nine just to get the funnel, because the funnel is the most important. Yeah. Okay, so a good plan there. Let's just take a look at the replay, and then we'll move on to our last Town Hall 9. So, right, so as you can see, replay. I start, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no start problem. my queen at three. Um, yeah. With two wizards to funnel, just to make 100% sure she went down. Then I placed down my 10 archers um, um, all around the base um, just to clear the free free trash because it's still onto a high HP building. It's almost always worth it. And it also helps with the funnel at 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, going through, as I, as, I sh as I explained in the first tip, as she, sh as she goes through the Tesla farm, it's just really nice on a queen mob because the Tez. Then I'm starting the final at nine with four wizards behind the golem, just making sure I've got a very solid funnel on that side. Mm -hmm. Put a golem on the, the Tesla at six with a wizard behind, a few more wizards going in. I knew I wanted my uh, quite a few of my wizards to go in with the kill squad. Then King and Bolus on the queen side so that they definitely go in because the funnel on the queen side is always better know on the golem wizzy side yeah the then queen, the jump, queen's getting one layer deeper typically than the wizards and the golem can yeah. get yeah definitely then as you can see four wizzies and a queen 
on the hound. Double poison for the for the for the pups when they're about to pop, and that just gets through the sleep. Mm-hmm. Now this wasn't the most convincing kill squad in the end. I'm not sure why. I sent like a, I thought the um, the Tesla the, the cannon at nine was being tanked, so I sent in a hog, but I was incorrect. Um, sent in a hog at one, one onto the mortar. But sadly, the, the arch tower turned around, but it wasn't a big deal in the end. So that it only leaves me with one hog left. But I was just re- just wait for the kill squad to break out of the the, the base. And then come round to 9 o'clock. So I was just being really patient at this point. I knew I had the Queen ability. So the only issue at the moment is time. But luckily I've got... I had those archers off. I've got my two wizards coming in from 2 o'clock. That I use if Queen goes outside of the base. And then I've got her ability. And that, that, that hopefully takes out the rest of the defences. You can also see two bowlers and two um, healers coming in and taking out a few more defences. Sent in... That last hog for the cannon, mm-hmm. and then the queen ability will will do the rest. I don't think time was much on this raid. No, I, I don't think it was either. But yeah, I think the important thing is, um, even if the hogs get taken out, um, they're buying time for your kill squad. So something is going to get those last few defenses. Uh, but it's it's a little hard sometimes to tell if the defenses are being tanked or not when you said yeah. The, the problem is maybe a defense is on a golem, but then it splits. Uh, into Colomites and then the defense retargets or the, the um, anything, a bowler, and then the bowler dies and the defense retarget. Yeah. So that's why I like my full health golems because I know that once the defense is on one of them, they're definitely not retargeting. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So let's take a look at the next plan for the, uh, for the final Town Hall 9 base here. So here's the bottom base number 40. Uh, once again, you attack this base, so uh, tell us what the plan was. So this was from the same war. This, this is the first base I, I hit in this war. And I, I just saw this base and I thought I could create a big funnel all the way from nine to three and then come up the core here. I wasn't 100% sure which side I should start the queen walk on, but I eventually decided I'm starting her at nine. Used a, 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 like one wizard here for funnel. She would walk down here. This air defense I thought might be a slight problem from here. But I just decided I'd sacrifice a few healers um, just to create a nice funnel. You might notice I've edited the army comp again. I'm not going with my with these six hogs and 11 wizards. I'm bringing a giant and a loon. And that was for um, 2 o'clock. I brought a giant and a wizard for this archer tower here mm-hmm. to come in from here. And I brought one loon in to take out that cannon. The reason I did this was, first of all, to help with with the funnel at three, because I mean I could take out all this trash with no uh, with no um with with no uh, defenses on them once I've got the golem on that mortar, and then it also I was going to have to take out those defenses anyway because the kill squad coming up the core here isn't going to reach the defenses, so I just thought might as well take them out of the start and, and help create the funnel. So it's just the same strategy. I, the queen comes down here, put a golem here, golem here, another golem here. And then just wizards behind, all along here, creating the big funnel. Everything up there, jump there, rage, poison. I was lucky enough that the Tez right here, right in my kill squad, which is just perfect because the kill squad just deals with the Tesla farm. Um, I was slightly worried it might be at 12, but I just took that risk. Both heroes pulled my kill squad into the core, and I just, just pummeled through the base, just... It's all about creating that massive kill squad and then the backside, and I hardly even needed them. Yeah, I think this base shows kind of how versatile this strategy is because it doesn't look like um, maybe the typical compact base you might think you want to hit with this, uh, but if you do the funnels right on both sides, if the queen walk is done right, uh, it definitely still works. And even with the heroes on the opposite side of the base from where you're entering, it actually almost works to your favor because they pull them farther into the base and make sure your kill squad goes all the way through um, from 6 up to 12 there. Yep. So uh, anyway, let's take a look at this replay, and then we'll move on to one Town Hall 10 attack. So here's number 40. Um, we talked about the plan. Let's, uh, let's go through this replay here. So I, I was incorrect. I used two minions to funnel at 9 because of the cannon. Right, right. Not a wizard, but that's not a big deal. Just you, I try and use four 
just don't use too much to funnel the queen. Um, mm -hmm. It's a bit of a waste of true space. So the queen's coming in. She's getting a little bit low, so I give her rage. I'm always happy to give her rage because it speeds things up and it means that she doesn't die. A slight moment where I thought she might walk the wrong way, but she decided to turn back. And you can see it too, the, the giant, the wizard, mm -hmm. the one loon to take out the cannon. Yeah, and that nice just creates there. a perfect funnel over that side. The golem down, the f taking out those second layer of defenses there, the archer tower and the and the um, air defense. And that it makes 100% sure that my bowlers are not walking. You can even see I got lucky and the wizards ended up taking out the cannon. Yeah, that was nice. At, at 3 o'clock, which is quite nice. So then, as I said about the, the air defense, the end of air defense taking out one healer, but I was happy to, to take that sacrifice. Then the four tail as those popped inside the base, which I absolutely love to see because the kill squad just, just, just absolute hound CC. But I've got like four, or five wizards, a queen, and a, a rage, and then a double poison for the for the pups. Mm -hmm. I sent my one one wizard at two to start the funnel, and then one wizard at twelve. A hog on to the the um the mortar. Another hog on to that wizard tower at, at three. Two hogs left. One on to the um Tesla as you can see, full health golem with a healer on it. And then uh, I have one hog left, which I think I swagged. I'm not 100% sure. I think yeah. if you... I, Yeah, I've also got the queen ability. Mm -hmm. Just The only thing is time, but I've got those two wizards cleaning up. I've also got, got three golems for clean up as well. So <laughs> do you ever consider using the queen ability instead of a rage and use both rages on the kill squad, or do you think it's better uh, to... to uh, I, I normally just like saving the queen ability. And then you can hog oh, rider coming out of the CC there. That's mm -hmm. my favorite way to swag hogs. Uh, um, but yeah, I normally like a rage on the queen because gotcha. rage, double rage in the kill squad is just a bonus. And I, I, I always like the queen ability for the backside. Okay, good stuff. So let's take a look at that Town Hall 10 attack using the same strategy. Okay, so here's this Town Hall 10 we're going to take a look at. You can see pretty much maxed base um, just looking at these defenses here. And this was a fresh hit as well on your Town Hall 10 account. Oh, so. Wait, sorry. Um, I, I, something's gone wrong. I'm going to have to refresh the page. Oh, okay. Okay, um, sweet. You can start again now. Fresh work. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, so here's this Town Hall 10 base we're going to take a look at using a Town Hall 10 version of this strategy, basically. Um, this was, once again, from the North Watchers War. You can see pretty much a maxed out base here, looking at all these defenses. And this one was a fresh hit, uh, no scout or anything. So, impressive stuff. I'll let you take the wheel and just tell us how you went about hitting this base with the Town Hall 10 version of the Monty G strategy. Okay, so this was done in my Town Hall 10, Yago Wagle. Um, and Smog actually pointed this, this out to me, and as soon as soon as he said it, I, I thought it was a great strategy. I don't often do this attack at Town Hall 10, but after d fresh hitting Tim's base, I now realize I, it's actually a viable strategy. So I was a little bit nervous going in fresh, but but uh, we didn't get too many Town Hall 9 scouts, so a few people had to go in fresh. So I start my queen up here, and with the aim to walk her down, sorry, down and then into this little compartment here. She'd reach the expo, she'd reach the arch tower, uh, she'd get quite a lot of value walking down here. Um, when I when I planned it, I was hoping two minions would get these two buildings here, but sadly I didn't. I, I, sadly, this air defense ended up picking them up, picking them off, which was a bit of a shame. But the queen still went the right way. And then the plan was to send three loons onto this archer tower here to take it out, and then drop two wizards here and here to take out all of these trash buildings here to create a nice funnel to be able to over here and then jump into the core. Now you might, might notice that um, I'm, I'm only bringing two golems and that's because five giants because of this single inferno here mm -hmm. um, and if because if I went in straight with a golem here the single inferno would just roast my my golem and there's no wizard towers around this area because the queen would 
that have taken out these two, and these two are decent, decently deep in the base. So using giants is perfectly good, since there's no splash damage. So I sent my five giants in, and then my two golems. I also brought a few of my bolas since I'm a town of ten, and seven hogs. I only need six wizards because it was, wasn't that big of a funnel. Um, but, but as soon as the as soon as um, I sent my three loons here at the bottom, um, some Teslas popped here and, and took out my loon. So I knew I had to adjust on the fly. So I decided to send in one golem down here with a few wizards and I think even a bowler and a hog, just because I was you know I, I was a fresh here. So I just sent in a few troops to try and take out this whole area here to create yeah. the funnel. Because as I said earlier, the funnel is the most important part. But, now this wasn't the cleanest raid, I have to admit, because of this whole Tesla pop bomb popping. I wasn't the cleanest here. My kill squad didn't all go in together, but I still got my kill squad in. As you can see, I brought three rages. I said I was I was considering before the raid should I bring two rages and heal or three rages. I knew I was going to have to use one rage for the queen, and I was just thinking, what's better, two rages on the kill squad or one rage and one heal? And I eventually decided two rages since I've got the healers. And in the end, it was a good decision, and it just went through the whole base. Now, since it's a town or ten and not a town or nine, I still had quite a few defenses left up, and I and I, I was very pleased when the healers stayed on my queen, and my queen ended up taking out the last few defenses. But we'll see that as the raid goes on, as we show the raid. Yeah, so um, that's the plan. Good stuff. Good base identification. Let's go ahead and take a look at this last replay. So here's this last base here. Uh, number 14, uh, the one you got with your Town Hall 10, starting mm -hmm. the Queen walk off. Um, little bit, were you worried that air defense would be an issue the way you started your Queen? Um, no, because I angled the healers. The only oh. issue with the air defense was it took out my minions, which I was gotcha. a little bit depressed about. And then I wasn't keeping an eye close enough on the Queen. Yeah, and that I was close. She nearly died there. <laughs> yeah. But I just got lucky with the way the Queen passed, and in, in the end I didn't need to take out the uh, elixir. The elixir collector. Mm -hmm. um, he loons in at in at six, and I got the Teslas, which gave me a, a good fright. But I decided to send out three wizards, two bowlers, scout those Teslas, and a golem, obviously, to tank them. Just because the funnel is the most. You can see I I was a little bit early. I have to admit, in hindsight, I dropped my like f five giants with the with the golem. CC came out. Um, get my bowlers in. The funnel at six is good enough. Rage. And then I said, the queen just wasn't. She just needed to get around a little quicker. But anyway, mm -hmm. jump into the base. I've got two rage. Really nice. So rage on the entry. As you can see there, uh, I've literally got no tanks left. But but the king is almost like a tank. The king ends up. I didn't pop his ability quick enough. So I definitely made quite a few mistakes on this raid. But then the queen gets through, takes out the single. I've got a load of bowlers with raged healers, and that's just really strong in the core. Then I made a mistake by placing my hogs at 12, and then my wizard at 12. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought the kill squad was pathing to 12. Uh -huh. uh, that was a mistake. But yeah. in the end, my my queen with the four healers ended up going ended up going really strong, and I had plenty of time left. Raid with like 10 seconds left, so I had a good amount of time at this point. I thought I might have failed, but um, but I I had the queen and I had the, the bowlers which did well clearing clearing buildings. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things is once the queen gets outside of the base, all the defenses are reachable for her, so she didn't have to bang on any walls or or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it was just a bit of a rarity town or ten. I'll I'll definitely give give it a, more of a go. Um, it's not a common strategy at town ten, but I've been using using this in Town of Nine for, for quite a while now, and it's one of my one of my favorite strategies. Yeah, so I think the, the important thing is, despite, you know, a few mistakes, it's a powerful strategy, it can still work, and yeah. uh, the healers in the middle really are what I think made the difference, because once both Infernos mm -hmm. are down, um, the, uh, the healers can heal over pretty much any of these defenses, so, yeah, worked out very nicely. Yeah, this strategy doesn't work on every base. Um, it's not like a stone... Hobo adapted to every base, but it's definitely definitely a good strategy that will work on at least three four bases, um, almost everyone. And I think you guys should give it a try.
Okay, yeah, so we'll wrap this video up. Thanks for coming on the channel. I appreciate your time no and uh, showing us how this all works. Any, any uh, parting comments, anything else you want to say as we wrap it up here? Yeah, shout out. <laughs> oh, you, you, uh, you kind of cut out there. Could you say it again? We couldn't quite. Oh, sorry. I was just giving a shout out to Raul. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, he's, he's my buddy. Anyway. Thanks for letting me come on. Um, yeah. All right, that'll do it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know yeah. what you think in the comments, and we'll see you guys later. Bisectatron and Monty G out.